Bishop Andy Siluda here, and I want to welcome you to my weekly sermon illustration. Again, this is primarily for my sons and daughters in the ministry, as well as former students that I have been privileged to be able to teach and instruct over the years. I weekly provide an illustration that hopefully and prayerfully you can use in one of your upcoming sermons or public oratorical presentations. Here is my sermon illustration for this week. It seems that in the 17th century, Oliver Cromwell, who at the time was the leader of Great Britain, commanded that one of his soldiers be executed. Included in the command was that his execution was to take place not only at dawn, but when the tower bell would ring at dawn. Early the next morning, at dawn, while people were waiting for the tower bell to ring, it did not ring. Thus, the execution did not go forward. When the inspectors went to see why the bell did not ring, they discovered that the wife of the man who was to be executed, who so loved her husband, had climbed up the bell tower, had put herself in the tower itself, placed herself between the bell and the clapper that would ring the bell so that each time the rope would be pulled and the bell should have rung, the clapper would collide into the hands of this wife. She became so bruised, she became so battered, she became so bloody until when they brought her in front of Cromwell and Cromwell saw the sacrifice that she made on the behalf of her husband, he decided not to execute her husband. Her sacrifice actually was the salvation of her husband. In like fashion, we should have been executed because of the sins that we have committed. But Jesus Christ loved us so much that he placed himself between us and sin he took on the bruising, he took on the battering, he took on the beating, he was bloody so that we might be saved. Friends, I am Bishop Andy Siluda. I thank you for your time today. Look forward to another one of my sermon illustrations. Let me give a shout out to my sons, daughters, and former students as a part of the Luder Champion Facebook group. Until next time, God loves you, we love you, and we look forward to seeing you real soon.